Dennis Daniels here. Talk to you about factors and primes. Factors and primes. Let's try a number, say, 198. That's a good number, isn't it? Uh, 198. Let's see. Well, it's just too shy of uh, 200, so... One shy of 100 is 99, so that says that this is divisible by 99. 2 times 99 is 198. Um, but we haven't figured, we haven't factored out the 99. 9 times 11, that's good. Can't divide 11, so that's prime. And then we've got two threes. So our uh, finished calculation would be 3 squared, times 11, times 2, equals 198. Now all of this factoring, of course, is going to help a whole lot when we start getting into exponents, etc. Um, and the correct way to actually write the factors of this, of 198, would be 2, ti 2 times 3, to 3 squared, times 11, equals 198. Uh, that's the convention, and uh, sorry for not following it myself. Let's take a look at Wolfram Alpha and see what uh, Wolfram Alpha thinks of it. And here's the lucky number, 198. Here's how you write it. That's what it looks like in Roman numerals, C, X, C, V, I, I, I. There's the binary form, and like I just mentioned, there's the prime factorization, 2 times 3 to second times 11. 198 is the le even number. And, uh, well, look at that. <clears throat> 198 is the smallest number with 10 representations as a sum of four positive squares. So here are all of the um, 10 representations. Curious. And it also has the representation of uh, 198 equals 2 to the eighth minus 58. Um, and 198 divides as well, 89 squared minus 1. Hmm, that's curious. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and happy computing.